Side dressing corn with manure has been a concept tried out in Dark County over the last four years. Well, this year, there's a brand new unit to make this practice a little bit easier. It was put to the test last week at Herod Farms in Rossburg. We've been working with Glenn Arnold, our Ohio State University Extension Manure Nutrient uh, Specialist here since 2013 in Dark County. We started my first year with a manure side dress tanker unit at Harrods. Uh, they liked the idea, the concept of what we were doing, and uh, they started the next year uh, experimental unit with a, an old uh, uh, chisel plow and put together a unit. And since then, uh, we've been able to prove that it works. And this unit that we have today, uh, we had uh, money from the Columbus Foundation, Ohio Farm Bureau, and a few other people that uh, we were able to put together uh, to put this in place today. Grandpa always said it smells like money to me, and if that's the case, we're sitting on a gold mine. But really, this has turned into quite a bit of profit as far as the last couple of years have gone here at this farm. Yes, if you look at the, the years we've had here, uh, last year we were about four bushel the acre better than uh, uh, traditional commercial nitrogen uh, unit. In 2015, we had a really wet June, kind of opposite of this year. Uh, and in 2015, we had a 32 bushel per acre increase with using the manure. Glenn, uh, this is one way of doing it, but over the past couple of years, right around this part of the state, you've found numerous ways to test out different pieces of equipment. Talk about that, uh, that concept and, and what goes into that kind of testing. Yeah, we've done a lot of plots with uh, both tankers and now we're doing them with drag hoses, just trying to find out um, how many different ways we can use livestock manure. Uh, some of the people have been getting to add it to uh, wheat fields and um, once wheat has been planted, we've been top dressing with swine manure. Sometimes uh, before the wheat's planted, they'll go out there and they'll add moisture with livestock manure and then we can plant the wheat into it. Uh, we've had other people who put manure on newly planted corn or newly planted soybeans and all of those have worked very, very well for us. The side dressing of the corn is the is where we think we'll capture the most nitrogen, capture the largest percentage of the nutrients that are in livestock manure. So that's the reason we've really pushed uh, trying to get research on side dressing corn here in Ohio. All about those four R's, isn't it? Yes, if you can put the manure at the right place, right time, right amount, from the right source, uh, we think this is a great use of this product. Sam, tell us about this unit behind us. Give us the details and, and how it performed here on the very first day that you put it to use. Ty, we've had a great day. Uh, we had a few hiccups early on, but those were probably uh, our man-made hiccups. And uh, this unit, we had Bam Bowers build it for us. It's got Dietrich units on it. Uh, originally with a 12 row unit, we took out the middle unit, Ty, so that we could drag the hose on dry ground versus in the trench uh, where we had uh, disturbed the soil. So we think that works a little bit better. Uh, so Corey's been running about 3.7, 3.8 miles per hour, and we're pumping uh, about, uh, what was it, 1,850 gallons per minute. So we're putting on probably close to 7,500, 8,000 gallons per acre. Other farmers in the area probably drive by and, and wonder what's going on, Glenn, but uh, it, it, they might think they're tearing up this field as they drive this drag hose over it. But if they come back in two weeks, it's going to be a different story. Yeah, you're always going to lose some corn when you side dress, even, uh, even when you use traditional 28 or anhydrous ammonia. So we need to understand that, and it looks a little bit different using uh, livestock manure as we are. But really the bottom line is always economics uh, and what's best for water quality. And this really captures best of both. Um, economically, we're replacing our side dressed purchased fertilizer with the nitrogen in the livestock manure. and then. Um, you know, we're putting it on a time when a growing crop's going to use all those nutrients much, much better than summer applied or fall applied manure when there's no growing crop at all in the field.